The RPX Technologies team has had the opportunity to dynamically balance some incredible airplanes, including the Bugatti 100P and the Anequim, holder of five world records. So when the owners of an Antonov II flew in and asked if Dynavibe could balance the AN2, the world's largest biplane, we couldn't pass up this opportunity. The Guinness Book of World Records states that the production run for the AN2 was for a time the longest ever for any aircraft, only recently exceeded by the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. The Annie has an upper wingspan of almost 60 feet. Its engine is a 9-cylinder radial 1,000 horsepower engine. The dynamic balancing process with Dynavibe starts with setting up the system on the aircraft, beginning with the installation of the accelerometer, as shown here. It took just a few minutes to install the accelerometer, and these photos show where it was installed, first a side view on the left and then the front view. Next came the installation of the Dynavibe photo tachometer, which was taped to the cowling. The last setup step is to affix the reflective tape to one of the propeller blades, which will be designated blade one or the master blade in the Dynavibe computer. The photo tach is seen in the center of this picture emits a red beam of light to aid in properly lining up the reflective tape. As we were setting up the photo tack on the AN2, we observed these fatigue cracks showing evidence of excessive vibration and the reason why it's important to dynamically balance the propeller assembly. With the photo tack and accelerometer installed, we go to the Dynavibe computer to finish the setup process by entering the airplane data such as owner, aircraft type, engine, estimated horsepower, and type of propeller. Finally, the positions of the accelerometer and the photo tack are added using the graphical setup in the Dynavibe GX2, making setup and configuration very simple. With setup complete, it was time for the initial run-up so we could see what kind of vibration existed prior to any balancing efforts. Here we see RPX co-founder Matt Doc sitting inside the AN2 during the initial balancing run-up. On the right is the Dynavibe report from this run-up which shows an imbalance of 0.78 inches per second, a pretty substantial vibration. The vibration is located at 106 degrees and the second line of this report also shows the solution, both location and recommended weight, that the Dynavibe GX2 has computed. After just a single run and adding the weight solution recommended by the Dynavibe GX2, the propeller assembly imbalance was reduced to just 0.07 inches per second. Because the GX2 was set up for a 1,000 horsepower engine, it was able to more accurately estimate the weight required to achieve good balance which saves time. After the dynamic balancing process was complete, Matt Doc reviewed the spectral analysis data with the AN2 owners. So you notice the propeller at low RPM, the one, there's nothing there. But next to it, at about 1.2, 1.3, there's a spike. The analysis revealed a spike at about 1.2 times the propeller RPM. This is related to crank imbalance or multi-cylinder compression variation. Using Dynavibe, the AN2 owners were able to get a great solution for balancing the prop after just one run-up, and the spectral analysis also provided valuable information about other vibrations not related to the prop assembly. Whether you're balancing a Bugatti or a Barnstormer like the AN2, the Dynavibe GX2 can achieve a great balancing solution in the fewest run-ups and also perform full-spectrum vibration analysis to troubleshoot more complex vibrations. To learn more or to shop for a Dynavibe in our online store, visit our website www.rpxtech.com, contact us by mail, sales at rpx.com, or by phone at 469-708-8779.